up, folks? It's me, Fold here, and I am here with another one. Well, I guess I have somebody else here instead of Son of Beast. Well, you'll see what happens because I have somebody else here. That's right, it's Terry Cruz, and I'm here definitely ready to see what the next game is. Now we're sending you off to the Western Conference on the other side. The Wolves face on against the OKC Thunders at Paycom Center. This matchup is going to be a little bit of a change off right in between the two of the alley. We are expecting to find out what goes in if there's a choice in range to have that one kicked out. Now for this part of it, Mike Conley is with Anthony Edwards. Junior McDaniels is with Carl Anthony Towns. And Rudy Gobert is in center. The other side we have is Jacob Gordix Alexander with Josh Kitty, Luton Stewart, and Jalen Williams, and Chad Grant is in a set. Now for the next commentary up, I have the ever range of Mal, Son of Beast, and he's also with some other commentaries of the crew, along with Gangsta Beast, and finally, the crew commentary of our crew, the Span. And it's David Aldridge that will be reporting here on the court side, as this will be a part of the game to keep your eyes on. Now let's get rolling. Wolves, Thunders, ready to go. Enjoy the game, folks. At Paycom Center, here we go. It's NBA on 2K Sports. Hello, everybody. I am Son of Beast, and I am here with Gangsta Beast and Fan. Tonight's presentation as the Wolves are facing against the OKC Thunders at Paycom Center. Starting groups, the key matchup between Gordon Alexander and Mike Conley. You know, this is a part of a matchup we're really seeing and what goes in now, but I was really expecting that we were ready to see how this is going to come up and play a bit. Now, I've never seen anybody that does this one here. I'm hoping there is a great chance here. If there's a great basket right now, we'll see how they can do if they have another play bounce to go for. The ball is tipped, and we are off our way to Paycom Center. Starting on the inbound, they say Gordix Alexander, he finds over to Dork. Dork gives again to Williams to pass off to Dork. Giddy, right toward the, in the wing, now finding again his home grade. Here's the cut inbound for the shot for Williams. This one misses the target. Down back the airway to Anthony Edwards. Speeding up across, in towards the center, on a drive, picks it up and in. That'll be the first one for Anthony Edwards on a bucket, as right now with only the January 29th was the win against the OKC Funders that took it over. It. They're never expecting it when they all been really keeping it in there, but that is all I can expect now. Keeping it in there, like you all expect to be there. Eugene Stork for two, misses the charge, target up, and it goes with a reverse drive for Chad Holmgren. A great chance in play. Now they're taking a chance here to step it up. Big plays are just really turning to be easier. I know it's a little hard, but the crazy thing is they really are picking up the pace here. Edwards finds Rudy Gobert. Gobert, great the shot. That is the target in there as Williams with the rebound. Now finds Giddy. Giddy trying to let it go. In for the layup, and it's good. Williams with a great layup drive. So his first bucket. Hey, take it in here. That's what they all expected now. They play it big, like they do. McDaniels on the outside and finding Gobert. Gobert finds McDaniels. McDaniels with the shot foul, bucket one. That will be his first foul for Lucian Stewart as the bucket made for Jada McDaniels. Well, that's what happens now because Jamie McDaniels has got that one in there. Great bucket scores. Don't let that one to be compliable when you have the right moment to be there. Minnesota will be hitting a free throw line for two, and now he's at the free throw line with one shot. Trying to have it in there for the answer back in as they're trying to pick up a lead by one. And he hits the free throw in. Here's the tape. Now the Gordix Alexander will find Josh Giddy. Holmgren gives it over an open look. Giddy finds Gordix Alexander. Alexander sliding and stepping in. Trying to pass again to Williams. Williams for the cut for two. This one takes it in. And this will be Williams' the second bucket. Take it all you can. Just don't believe it. Don't trust them. Towns for three. The three-pointer misses off the target and then goes right against Williams. 
Under six minutes remaining in the first quarter of the game. Giddy now finds again over to Holmgren. The pass off to Williams. Williams gets again to Giddy. Over now to Dort. Dort trying to fire his way in. Looks again to Giddy. Giddy, the pass over to Holmgren with the shot. And he makes it in there. That's a lamp in for Holmgren. Just easy enough to say for Holmgren. The bat, that playoff is just playing in between Rudy Gobert and Holmgren. They're a little bit of a little bit of range off in between with those two. But I have no idea how this is gonna happen, but they are the same guys. Great stall tall inbound. I'm I'm pretty sure that they're gonna do it anyway. Three-pointer misses the target. Here's a three for Towns. And he makes it in from the outside. Now it's tied up at eight and eight. He works Alexander with the ball. He finds a pass again to Williams. Williams trying to lip it in with a shot. It makes a drive. Williams with his first bucket. Now it's another take as he works Alexander with his first assist of the game. Just believe me there. Don't take all what you could. Gobert now finds Conley. Looks over to Edwards. Edwards with five to shoot. With three. And he hits it in. Trained from outside. 11 to 10 is a score. Edwards on a fire start for the first quarter in the game. Well, I know that Anthony Edwards has been like taking first. Better tip up at the any games at the moment. But they don't really take care of that most of it. And they don't have anybody else to leave it alone for sure. I can't believe it that they were getting get that one from another gray angle with an open drive. They gotta do something a lot of it a quick shots here. Timeout call by Minnesota with 4.05 to go in the first quarter of the game. They'll talk things over as they're up ahead by one. Well, easy now to say this. I mean, what they all never know about because of our day, you know, he may have all that reputation out there and be gone. I have no clue how he's going to be able to uh, attempt that play, but this doesn't mean what they all, all have to do for. It's going to be the commentator or anything what they need to go, they really are expecting now, and this is what they all have been playing it for, doubling it out, make a stoppable play. I mean, this one is really what they all know for. Just play it hard, get it done, and have it all right down here, coming into the line, be out there when you mean it. on the court as right now a couple players to check off and check on the court. The status for Carl Anthony Towns on his lineup. Well he's got a player that Cat is just only what he does for it. Plays for all his epidemic of the ranging and this inbound may be a tough way to do it. But I'm hoping that might be a great way to keep it in there. Oh Holmgren denies the shot. That one will be his first rejection. Just go take a mine out there. Holmgren got it over. And there's a personal foul called on door. That'll be his second personal foul. And another team foul for OKC. A little bit of a half range in the two. Trying to step it in to get right into the work as they're still in second place behind. But this one kept in third. I think the Wolves are trying to enter it in there. Mm, well, I hope that might be what they are going. You gotta keep it in there. The step in for Mike Conley. A step now to Towns for two. And he takes it in. That's another two point bucket score. Up ahead with by one. And it's assisted by Mike Conley. Now pass over to Williams. Williams spins it across with the shot. And he takes it in. Williams missed eight points in the game. 323 left to go in the first. Here's a take to McDaniels. 315 left to go in the first quarter of the game. Conley gives it off to Edwards. Edwards trying to have an answer in. Big chain off. Towns for three. No good from the outside. Holger now has it over to Josh Giddy. Again to Lujan Stewart. Here's the cut. Looks back to Gilbertix Alexander. Alexander, the pass over. The two for Williams. And he'll take it in, stepping in. With 10 points in the game. And Alexander with the assist. Just up and up, you can play it for real. Take that all the opportunity and knock it down. Towns on the outside. Almost lost the ball. Three for Anthony Edwards. And he makes another missing three pointer. 
Williams on the attack now finds his story and he went out of bounds. Ken turns over to Minnesota ball with 2.20 to go. Now we're going to do substitutions now. Four players come off the court. Reed, Anderson, Alexander Walker, and Monte Morris checked in. And for the Thunders, Jordan Alexander checked out. As now coming on the court is Wallace and Hayward. Gordick's Alexander trying to watch for Reed and a team trying to get up out of the head, but it may need be, may be hard enough to keep it going. You know, it's just need to get this in there. I mean, that's a great streak of Gordick's Alexander. It's not always easy when you try and do for a better team. All that response. Don't have anybody to try to complain on that. You need to do something that's real and impossible to make the make it. And a great drive in for Chris Wallace. That's his first bucket in the game. 18-13 to score, under two minutes remaining in this first. And here's Anderson, trying to have it other day. Over pass to Reed. Reed shot, and it's hit off the mark, and it's another miss here for Minnesota. Hayward with his rebound, after a great touching here by Holmgren. This goes back again to Wallace. Pass now to Hayward, now again, over now to Giddy. Giddy on a step shot. Misses the two. Morris with the rebound now back there with one time to go. Monte Morris trying to answer it in to Reed. Reed over that back to Alexander Walker. For two. Dropping in. And it's Towns with the rebound. Back to a three-point game for the Minnesota Wolves. Oh boy, I, I, I just really don't know all that happened with Carl Anthony Towns. Maybe the big over there on a big chain. I mean, that's no other option. Hayward with the ball. The cutting bound for two. How's that drive in with 20 to 15 score? Now they're up ahead by five. Well, they're really easy for Gordon Hayward to have it. That one in there. That pressure always keeps it in sense. Have to make that one in there. And a three-pointer drops it in. That will be Alexander Walker with his first three-pointer. Now it's back down by two with 30 seconds. Wallace now finds the pass again to Giddy. Giddy looks it in. The pass to Holmgren outside again to Wallace. Wallace for the cut, shot, and bucket one. Monte Morris the foul. As Chris Wallace will be heading to the free throw line, shooting one. Oh, you just know how to happen, Chris Wallace. He got a great shot at opportunity range. That one sorts it up clean. He got great. The block was checked in for Monte Morris. And for the funders there, we'll have to try to make another new change off. As now it's Holmgren checking off the court. And back on the court will be all you call for Williams to move over as Wiggins and Joe are checked in. And he hits the free throw. Towns with the ball. Trying to stay alive as Joe is on him. Ten seconds left to go in the first. Towns trying to move it in. Also this way in. For the two. And that misses. And it's the first quarter. 23 to 18 score. A little bit of a tight spot between, but we'll find out what happens with the second period. We'll get to the second period coming up for the quarter after this. And we just joining us here. We've got the second quarter coming up. Thunder still trying to answer it in. Collision course, not always easy when you have it. I have to take over here for you guys about that happen. Well, best to say now for OKC Thunders, they might not be what they are expecting to do. And hopefully there might be a great way to have that one coming back in there. I'm pretty surprised that they are another way to get this one in there, but let's see what they do. Definitely. Sorry, boots are on the board for Minnesota. Bachman's with Anthony Edwards. And it's Towns with Jada McDaniels. And in center is Rudy Gobert. McLaughlin hits the first free, first pointer to drive at the start of the second quarter. Now he's to take here for Bewardix Alexander. Now he swings off to Joe. Joe tries to go in to Al Alexander. And a shot misses the target. McLaughlin now finds over to Anthony Edwards. Try to have an answer, and the drive is good. McDaniels takes it in. Now it's past the other way. Use to Alexander. 
The pass over now finds Wiggins. Wiggins finds again to Joe. Joe finds a pass to Wiggins Alexander. Tries to cut with a two bucket one. What a cut! And it's now back to a three point game for Wiggins Alexander. Oh, what do you expect now, Wiggins Alexander? A great cut pass. What a take! Yeah, I know what happens now. That one is really great. You know. Most of it cuts in the angle. Oh, Gotta play that one in there. Just one shot left for Gregorix Alexander as Mike Conley checked in from McLaughlin with 7 of 5 to go in the first half. And he hits the free throw. Minnesota trailing by four. Finally, loses the ball. And it's up the other way. Here's the coming out attack. Joe, aside, driving in his hands. What a finish here. After New Gordon's Alexander with the pass, he said, give it in, Joe. The pass to Edwards for three. Breaks for triple, no good. As we go bear, trying to handle it on. Counts for two. No good here, no rebound. And he gets it done. Your girl bear trying to have that answer back, but it doesn't seem to appear at all. I don't know what they did. Rudy Gobert is just trying to have an answer response. Don't take any questions here. The Warriors Alexander now finds Dork. Dork with the shot. And it's in. Another two-pointer is cutting it down. And it's now a 30-24 game. Six minutes to go in the second. Edwards with nobody around. Another miss here. And a rebound misses again for Minnesota. Williams grabbing himself with his first rebound of the night. He's trying to have an answer in, coming back in towards the lineup group. And over now to the word of Alexander. Passes over now to Door. The pass off now finds Williams. Over around Gobert, over Towns, and that one is no good. Finally, on the breakaway fast break, last touch puts up by Williams. Now it changes over, as now stepping back on the court is Monte Morris for Carl Anthony Towns. Bruce Codley with the ball now finds again to Edwards. Edwards for three, and able to answer that one out outside of a range. It's now a three-point game for OKC Funders. Well, they're just not doing what they expected to do. I mean, you got to play hard, keep working on it. Here's the Gordon Alexander now trying to have another way to get in there. Who's around? A step back for two, and he makes it in there. But the Saturday loss against Dallas, 36 points was the end of his night for the NBA postseason in Game 6 against the Dallas Mavericks. It was hard and unbreakable, but the no chain is, nobody had that one all coming in. Well, you never know how that happened. I was really hoping that there might be a great way to have all that stopping ability to play this game. It's never happened to me like that before. But hey, let's tell this. If nobody gets it, then it's going to be a hard one to take over it for now. After a bucket made by Josh Giddy, here's an hour take for Monte Morris. Sliding across. Sliding in. The pass off to Gobert. Oh, Holmgren! Takes the ball out of from Gobert's hand. And it just makes that one uh, take a walk away. Oh, what a slide. How could that happen already? That's what I say. Nobody has seen like Holmgren does. Keep that playable alive out there. And your Cortex Alexander does it again. He is putting a bucket in, making already on his parents. The old spec down, just get in there, play on the working ability, get all comfortable down. 
Now the next time I'm called by Minnesota Wolves with 36 to 29 score. As we got an update coming up here that this will be a, a couple of games that's underway. This will be now an 8 p.m. game for the Knicks facing against the Celtics, and then the other side will be happening with a 9:30 p.m. game. Because at that point, with the new changes in between, this will be only happening with one game only for this park. And that means that the only game that we have now is the Hurricanes facing against the Lightning. That will be the other side of it to keep your eyes peeled on for the Eastern Conference semifinals game. And that will be just only one game and they have it all. And inspection takes it and it will be all what they are doing. Let's hope that this might be a chance effort. And we're nearing down the end of the second quarter of the game as we have an halftime show coming up for you. As we have a spray, we have Kenny Jeff Smith, Shag O'Neill, and Ernie Johnson ready for its first half reports of how they did in this game. It's going to be all a hard one to take, but there's a lot of exceptions. Let's hope there is. New changes coming on for the Timberwolves. Three players checked off the court, and right now McDaniels is with Reed and Edwards. The Thunders are making new changes here. Only Williams checked out, and checking back in is Jillian Williams. Here's Anthony Edwards with the cut in to Rudy Gobert is good. There were two pointer, catching it down by five. Gobert trying to have another bucket in there, and this was not the appearances of what they are just expecting it, but that really has to keep on coming. Yeah, just what you really do. I mean, you've never seen anyone like that. And a drive. Nice take here for the Burdick's Alexander. He is getting his point bucket in. Nine points in his, in his game in game three. Conley with the ball now finding Reed. Reed with the shot. Solid D by Holmgren. Now the pass over to Holmgren. Over the pass again to Dorr. The drive and cut. And it's denied by Reed. First rejection of the game, now turns it over. Edwards with the ball. Up with the two. And it's good. Another takeover for the Timberwolves. They're back down by five. Well, easy now says here because Nas Reed, he, re he rejects that shot. And then what happened is he really made that one accountable of workful. That doesn't really mean to anyone who could definitely try to keep that one off coming down. I was really noticing they can't be leaving us with all the all the course of the angle. They gotta make sure they're all settled in, and they don't want anybody to get that one left to hold it. Conley with the ball with 2.13 to go. Here's the cut. And a drive is in. Number two pointers setting in for the Minnesota Wolves back down by three. Here's the take for game with under two minutes to go. The pass over to the Orange Alexander again to door. Here's the cut for Holmgren. And a drive will put it in. Great pass by Luchin Stork. Holmgren's got six points this game. 40 to 39, five with five trailing for the Minnesota Wolves. Edwards up. The number three misses the target. Here comes the number take. A pass over now to Holmgren. Holmgren trying to leave it out. Try to have it in with the shot. That one gets off lazy. And it goes back the other way, trying to have an answer off. Mike Conley, watching first chance now. Three for three, and it's good. This one gets for the 40 to 38 game. And close range doesn't mean what they can't do. But don't let them fool you down. Well, they have to just keep moving around with the ball. I mean, that's all they have to do. Get in there, play right. The Gorgs Alexander cut it bound. And another D won't take it in. It's Gobert with the rebound back to Conley. And a three, a chance, a leadoff hits it in. It's a 41-40 game. McDaniels for three, Mike Conley with the assist. We really are stepping it in now. I don't know what they were just going to do, but they are really keeping it in there. A live game. Just trying to pick up one, and they need to have it in there. We're going to take response. The three for Williams. In it. Takes that one with the switch ball on the outside. He has 13 points. The Gordon Alexander with the assist. Just let us get into now if you're really into it. 
by Conley. Over on the door bear. Oh, wow. What a taking slam. And this went after Mike Conley with the assist. Tie game. Oh, boy. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, they really are just playing it out they can. They don't want anybody to get them in the way. Giddy. With the ball, give over to your words, Alexander. Here's a chance for the three. And it misses the target. 43-43. We've reached the halftime show, and we now send you over to the studio. Stay tuned for a quarter next after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Ian Jeff Smith. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. Shaq, your thoughts on the fun? I like how they're working the ball up that low and finding easy ones. Uh, they may be tipped to switch things up in the second half, but that's the perfect force of the team to adjust to the way you play. Timmy, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. They've been knocking it down from three. You have to give the playmakers credit for consistently finding those shots. And then, of course, the shooters have to deliver. If they keep it up, they have to tough to beat. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter. Just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back at Loud City of Oklahoma City. We're ready to start the fourth third quarter. Let's get in the action. Off to the ready to get this thing settled as the new groups is on appearance. Mike Conley, he's with on Carl Anthony Towns with Anthony Edwards. And it's Holmgren with Shady Gordon's Alexander with Josh Key, Lujan Stork, and Williams with right along with him. Rudy Gobert with him now with Jaden McDaniels, and it's also along with Carl Anthony Towns. Here's a start for Williams, he will now have it over to get a door. The door with a shot. Takes it in with another two point bucket score. Now they're back in the lead, 45 43. Big chances are. The beat up lead's no problem. It's just nothing that they really wanted to do, but they can't let that one be out there at the own time. They don't want anybody to get that one anyway. Here's switching store. Finds a pass. Here's Goody. Oh, what a nice take we lay up in. That one has accelerated, and they are just pushing their way up across. Anthony Edwards with a screen with the two. Misses the target, and Gobert takes it back. 47-45 to score. Trying to get back in to tie this game or have the lead take it over. Well, no one really wants that. I mean, I just don't know what will they do. They gotta play it in there, and then just what that hard one has to do, they gotta keep on controlling it. They gotta do what they need to do. Don't take any efforts if they have that one and you stop them down. Oh man, they're missing everywhere now. Don't let that one keep on scoring in. Here's a chance for Edwards. Tying the game is no good. Holmgren with a rebound with eight. Off to the it's Alexander. Here comes the drive. And up and in. Number two pointer for the words Alexander. He has 11 points this game. 49-45 to score. Now to take from Conley. Conley trying to get in. The three for the Towns. As Hungry will now have a back over now again to Jalen Williams. On a throw down, tying it down, paper reversing drive. What an excellent take here. That's now back the other way. Here's Mike Conley with the ball under six minutes. A setback, almost went back court violation. Towns right to Edwards. Over it again to the Bear. Three for Edwards. And it's missed again. Rolls in and out. So you to Alexander with his first rebound. Now has to give it over now, and it's broken up by Towns. You saw that happen now because that Anthony Edwards doesn't really take all that credit in there. That three-pointer is given off target. But now what that happened is, what's the question going to do? What are they figuring out? They're going to try to keep the bucket in there alive. They have to start doing something else, or else they can't even afford that. Dude, he finding it over now again on the outside is Williams. 
Williams, Gibson, and Woodward. So it's the Woodward to Alexander. Up and over past the home grade. Over and now swings to the Woodward to Alexander. Four to three. And it's missed again. Towns with the rebound. Here's the cut. A chance for Edwards to tie the game or go up by one. Missed it over. Here's a chance. Rudy Gobert slams it down. They're back down by one. And here's Homegrade right now finding to get in the words, Alexander. Here's the pass over now to Homegrade. Right. And it's losing the ball. Good take away here as Anthony Edwards with the steal. Here's the take. Minnesota up. Number two misses again for the OKC rebound as Minnesota trying to answer back in. With the takeover. Off the rim. Bad pass connection here for Thunders, and here's Edwards with a lead, and it's missed again. Josh getting with a rebound, he has four. Now gives it off to Williams. Passes again to Luigi Stewart. Passes over now to get to the Warriors Alexander. Thunders trying to rail it in. Here's the takeover. Giddy for three, and he misses again. Conley with another rebound with 3.45 to go. The cut in with the break off, and he Drake breaks it in. Now they're right back in the lead. 52 51 to score. Timeout called by OKC Thunders. 3 for 8 to go in the third. We'd like to remind you that the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by. State Farm. Let your neighbor, State Farm is there. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Starry Lines. Here are the upcoming games here as we have some of the other games that's on its way for game four. As an update, as it occurs, as you probably have heard of it before, as the next game, that will be only one game that's happening here in Game 5, as we're seven things all up here before the conference finals, without losing a time effort before the day of summer has already arrived. But it's getting closer right now. I mean, a hot ones a day, but who's going to be, who's going to be not sweating all night? Everybody, or just not even one of them? I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's just what they all need to respect now. I mean, they always need to see what this is in there. I mean, that could be what they are calling for. Let's hope that there is. Now, it's a new changes right now for the OKC funders. It's now Wallace is back on the court. Has four players to check out the court. Bree, Anderson, Alexander, Walker, and McLaughlin to check in. Joe is back. But along with the inside of it with Wiggins. And over again to Hayward. And finally Williams and Wallace on the outside. The Wiggins for three. Triple range, no good. Try to have it tackering in with a shot. Chance fouls Paul on Joe. That's another foul for OKC Funders. Oh boy, they're not happy at all. I think that happened with Gordon Hayward. He really had that one messed up as Joe was trying to put that back. Another free throw coming up here for the OKC for the Minnesota Wolves. Now he's trying to have an answer in there, and this is not what they all do to keep it in there, awaiting for him out of home another time. McLaughlin hits the first free throw. Well, I would say that McLaughlin has been really like keeping in there for all for several other days. You never see the receptor when you always care for anybody. That doesn't mean like you really have to be out there for a longer period of time. All that happens now, play for real, get it done straight, and also just do your best at it. That's what they all need to do for McLaughlin to have it showing. It's up, back up by three. Williams now finds Gordon Hayward. Ready to take his own time as with only three minutes coming down in the third. Wallace turning outside. The bounce pass, he switches over to Joe. Joe with the cut, takes the shot, finds it over to get to Wiggins. Hayward comes in to help the screen. The cut and bound for Joe. Oh, what a nice rip around for Wiggins. They are back down by one with his first bucket. They all now need to know for Andrew Wiggins had played it. 
just keep it alive. Times for three. Able to bury it for the triple. It's a 57 to 53 game as the assist puts it up in for the block there. He has it now over to on the outside to Wallace. Back to Hayward. Hayward for three. Nowhere to go. He got that three quarter on the outside. Back down by Boyd. Made the six fourth three quarters been the Thunders for the Timberwolves. They're really outscoring themselves ahead. Yeah, I know. I don't know what they are doing, but they are need to do some a little bit of extra timing upward. Don't let anybody take over. Pass over to Joe. We're in Hayward on uh, third of Lockley. With the shot, a chance for the lead makes an end. Yeah, it makes his first bucket to have a lead off a 58-57 score. Let's hope that this happens again. If it doesn't happen now, don't let anyone take over it. That's a slam down put today for Nikita Walker. Alexander Walker, with the correction. Passes over now to Wiggins. Here's it now, another chance here again to Joe. Joe over the outside, off finds it to Wiggins. The cut inbound to Hayward. Hayward with the shot. Eight for two, gets it in. Backed up with a one point session game. A 60-59 game. Here's McLaughlin. McLaughlin trying to stumble it back. A move around pressure again to Reed. Fades it and a three seconds call. Matt goes on Reed, wasted too much time, goes back the other way. Oops, can't keep back going in there. The points off for the tossing for this season happened to be 20.3 for Wolves in fourth place, and now 24.3 happened to be OKC Thunders. Let's make a big difference out there. I always say that the tossing this inbound is just what the offseason is, but you can always bet that way. Just have an all in the range out there, just keep on going, and you'll hopefully you'll get that one coming in straight. Let's keep it doing again. Hayward, for the three, another triple range. Got it back down by 63 to 59, but now they're extending it. 40 seconds left to go in the third. McLaughlin, pass across, three for three. No keep for the triple range. Hayward with his second rebound. Crowd going on. Swallows brings it in for the team with live and pressure and now finds again to Hayward. Hayward rolls it over. Now finds Wallace. Wallace for a step back. It's good. Number two pointer for the bench point group. Wallace has got seven points. Carl Anthony Towns with nobody around. He will have to parry to three to end the third quarter. And now here's Hayward. Hayward, delivering a chance for a quarter, and this one will not be able to take it in there because that one takes too much and it changes over to the Wolves' fall. Towns is checked out as Monte Morris is checked in. McLaughlin going half court, and that will be off the rim, and it ends the third quarter here. 65 62 is the score. Looks like they're going to get another extension here, up by three, but we'll be back with the fourth quarter. On its way next. Good competition in there in the Western Conference, but this might be it. Last take, we'll take it all. Just play what you mean it. Do what you do. I'll play every day. Loud City gets loud. Fourth quarter about to get set at Loud City. Fans are still loving it, and we hope you that you love it too, as we have one more possession left to play for both teams. The Gordy's Alexander, he's with Josh Giddy. Man of Minnesota with Williams and Nugent Stork. And the Eric Williams is on the other side with Gordon Hayward. We have Mr. Henry Daniels, he's with on Kyle Anderson. Monte Morris with Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert in center. The drive puts it in for Josh Giddy. That's his, that's his fourth bucket of his appearance in game three. Just have to be happy though. I mean, you just have to just go on your own. Play very smart offensive effort, take it all when you can, and get that in there. Three pointer misses the target, and it's fouled by Wilk Lawrence Alexander. That's his first personal foul. Never common team foul for the OKC Funders with 721 to go. Rudy Gobert trying to enter it in. 
at the free throw line shooting two. Oh, Big Smith now. Rudy Gobert is trying to answer it in there. They are not even happy at all, but they can't be leaving it all the all again. They are expecting it. They kept playing it. They don't want it anymore. Free throw misses the target for Rudy Gobert. And Gordon Hayward will be checked out as Lucian Stork and Chet Ogden will be checking in for Williams and Gordon Hayward. Gobert hits the second free throw. And here's another take here. As right now, here's for Gordon Alexander. He will have it again to Williams. And a, a shot, and there is a bucket countable. They are not going to add that one in there, as this one will be another foul called on the Minnesota Wolves. Yeah, they're not going to count the bucket anyway, because that, that one, there's a common on a reaching foul, but there's no bucket. You can't have that one added in there if you do more than you had. Josh Giddy with a step and shot, and it's good. Josh Giddy with 10 points. They're back up by six. Always there to trip down, but you always get to slow that down if you're really up to a challenge. Monte Morris flies again to Rudy Gobert, and he makes a slam dunk down. Rudy Gobert's got 15 points, 14 points in the paint. Trying to look for his adding digital score in to get right into work to tie that game. The Gorgs Alexander now finding a pass over. Monte Morris on the cover. Just six to shoot. Up and over pass. Giddy for a step back. And he makes it in. Josh Giddy with another two-pointer. Got five in a row. For Giddy. Now here's Monte Morris with the ball. The pass off to McDaniels. And here's the take for two. And McDaniels is going to lose it again. Done off ball by the OKC Funders with 6.05 to go. Well, always got to take a timeout when you have it there. So once again, we got our next game that will be happening here for tomorrow night's game. For game three, we have the next facing against the Celtics that will be happening here at Madison Square Garden. That's part of the next part of the game that has moved into and will be heading its way over in as you have the first one up in this appearance at 7.30 p.m. Then the second game happening with the Dallas Mavericks at home facing against the other team of the Denver Nuggets at 9.30 game. That will be the next part of it on the other side to keep your eyes peeled on. As all those games will be happening game three and then game four will be the next two in the matchup as we will switch things up for Western Conference first before the Eastern Conference next. As we have that one coming in to make a straightaway to have it right in the two of the legitimate matches to have it in down. Attackers, not just anybody, but take all that in. So that will be the Western Conference first of this game as we have the Mavericks facing against the Nuggets for the first game. Pack coverage starting here at 8.30 p.m. And then for the other game, will be another Western Conference game. That will be all two of them in between of the OPC Thunders facing against the other team of the all called for the name of it, Minnesota Wolves, at 9.30 p.m. And then the other game will happen with only just only just a couple of them, as we got a 6 5 o'clock p.m. game, and 1 o'clock p.m. will be happening with the first one on its way, and with the 8 o'clock game, we'll be, our, we'll be at the party. Nope, this will be the first one at the Kaseya Center. And then the second game will happen to make a number of appearances. As for Knicks and Celtics at, at, the, at the 5 o'clock game, and 1 o'clock game will be the hockey of NHL in game 5, if we have one of them as this will be the Lightning and the Hurricanes. All games here, only on Sun and Beast. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't, somebody will. And he missed again. William with the ball. Now we'll approach you down for a five-minute mark. He makes the pass again to Gregorius Alexander. Bounce pass. And it's rolled out, almost went completely out of here. Back to Williams. Williams finds the pass to Gregorius Alexander. 
Marina Lobo. From the line, it's good. The first Alexander showing us a pause. Applausing in the Thunder Rally. He has 13 points. Easier enough to say for Gregorius Alexander. I say that is a great way to join him. And the layup puts it in for John for Rudy Gobert. 75 69 to score. Trying to race it in. Gregorius Alexander now has it all. He now decides to pass the door. The door gives it over again to Holmgren. Fading around the around spin boot, finds Eugene Stroke for a step back. Another miss by OKC Thunders. McDaniels with another rebound. A pass off to Dolly, makes a drive in. They're back down by four. Trying to make a close game in between, but they cannot be stopped again. No, not at all. But they can't be really just trying to like, let them go in there. They need to get this one a lot of times at work. They need to do something else to get it in between. And this one makes a dive play. Unbelievable. Anthony Edwards with the ball. And now they're going to have to try to figure it out if they can get a close game in between. Edwards. Rolls his way across. On a chance, and a try makes it in for Anthony Edwards. He has 15 points. A chance now to tie this game with under 3 to go. Did he? Running outside now has it again. Over to Williams. The pass is now again to Dork. Looks it over to the Rorick's Alexander. Tries out for number two, and he makes it in. He has 15 points. Now to try to catch things down, up by four, with three minutes to go. Just keep an eye on the Gregorio Alexander. Have that one coming in straight. Gotta have it all down. Towns, corner of bucket, misses. Rivera, and it misses again. What a great chance here for Holmgren as he denies a shot. That's three blocks in a row. When you ever have had Chad Holmgren, he's just flicking it in. Now he's just rejecting the shot. I just can't believe it. That really is going to take a lot of time effort. No one has really gotten out there for a better place than that. And it's stolen by Gobert. Here's Conley. And at the other side, Gobert. Edwards with the ball. The cut by Towns. Towns for two, and it's good. Layup puts it in, they're back down by two. As now we see you go to Alexander. Alexander now finds the pass, Dork. The pass back to the words Alexander with two minutes. Looks it over, and it's stolen by Gobert. Conley, a chance to tie this game. Misses. It's rebounded again by Williams with his third. Here's a take. And here's Dorfman outside. Now back again to Vicky. Aiden Williams. Rolls in and out of it. Rorix Alexander. Trying to pull it in to Giddy. Giddy. Over now to Williams. Rorix Alexander for a triple. Missed it. Rebound puts it in for Giddy. Here are the 90 seconds to remain in the fourth. Here's a take. A two. It's good. 17 points! Back up by four! And Edwards trying to spin across the move. The passes. Here's the three McDaniels. And it's good! Back the arrow is in! They're back down by one. The close battle range never sees it going in there. But they've been trying to let it go in. Our responses, not for anybody. Loud City fans are just are, are up on their feet, trying to see what they can do. The pass now to Giddy. The Giddy two, and it's good. Another takeover for the Thunders, 81 to 78. Giddy on fire. They are expecting now. How can they play it like they did? It's just legitimate. They're really all over there into a place right now, and I'm begging on. They might win this game. If they have that one on board, hopefully this might be a change up if they wanted to have it all of the pressure in there and get right to the into the meetups. It's not gonna let this happen to the change up, but hopefully it will come in to have another change up swamp by. The NBA playoffs of the second round on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. 
express. Don't live life without it. Your local key dealers, movement that inspires. And by Starry Lines. And here's a chance now for your New Balance player of the game, Shay Gordon Alexander. What happens now with the Gordon Alexander? The better player at the point guard position, so that happens to be one of the best. Occasionally, everybody's been calling for a deal. I was really noticing. I've been playing it for so long, and that is what the point guard does for the best. No, it's just a take. Gotta take the win or take the dropping down pointage. Gotta have another take. Wow, Anthony Edwards' responses now. It's our tie game. And here's who works out Tinder. They don't have to try and make another one to have an attempt it. Giddy. The silver now finds to get the door. Here's the tape. Overturn the outside again to the Burning Town Center with 30 seconds. The pass over to Williams. Williams over and down to Goldbrand. Goldbrand, the side step for two. Misses. Reed with his last timeout left to go for the Timberwolves. They'll have to try to fix things up if they can get things moving. Just no time left. I mean, this is not what they're expecting. The last timeout is over. That's for Minnesota. But OKC has two more to go. If they have another bucket in, they'll have to call timeout or have a rebound in to roll down the clock. It's not what they all can do. Don't let that keep out of the way for you. That's our take right out there, guys. As I was mentioning here before, the, the funders haven't made that one out there so long. And because of this happened with all that we can help with the best, playing the separate is not really the take. It just really had happened for everybody's consequences. But in that moment, I have a lot of the range of what's going to have to go, go on for those two. Will this be another takeoff, or will this be taking over for Minnesota to have the extension? I'm going to say the OKC is going to have to answer back, because that is really not going to really take lots of time effort here. And I'm hoping that it might just work well. Hopefully that will, if, if this will ever uh, change their rights, they won't be able to have it all. They might have a great appearances, hopefully there is a chance. Let's hope there is another corner. Get right into it, stay low, and stay the ball. Let's get going. Chance for Edwards. Edwards right toward a wing. Laying the clock wind down. 13 seconds left to go. On his chance, moving the ball around. Time is ticking down. A chance in front. The three misses. And will have to take his own time out with just under one second. They'll have to try to make something in there if they have it out. Well, keeps on coming. I mean, they really are pressuring in now. In three, that'll make the win out of it if you can. And this is definitely it. A chance here for the funders if they win. If they miss the shot, then it's overtime. If the Wolves have that answer to try to block the shot, and then make a half court, it will be finished now. If they don't make that half court shot, then that will be the other way for the OKC funders chance for overtime in this third game of the second game of the Western Conference semifinals. This is it. The last one will do. Decision me starts now. And I'll have to just use one timeout left to go, some new changes, and get right into the, into the beginning. This is it. Make or miss. 
A chance for Holmgren, and he will knock it in time. That will be the end of regulation, as this one is now a chance for a win in overtime in Game 3. OT, coming up after the break. Let's do it! Overtime Lounge City! Show how it's done! Long quarter in the period, and we're ready to start overtime as this game is brought to you by Tissett, the official watch of the NBA. Balls up in the air and we're ready to start. Longer for regulation period is just coming in to make this thing go in. But hopefully there might be a win to take over. Williams with the start and a draft. We'll find again a home grid. Using the ball, splashing back and forth as Hayward's in the corner. The outside look. Giddy, pretty free. Chance effort with the rebound is off. McLaughlin. Try to have another release bit. He's on Wallace. A spin move. Oh, home grand. Great takeover. And it's back and over now to Giddy. I don't know what keeps on coming down like this, but Chad Holmgren's got four blocks. How could this happen again? Wallace finds again a home grand. Home grand has nowhere else to be. Down to five. Wallace for two. I'll never miss. And it will not get it back in time with Blackland. Sorry, I have to get make it superior. Here's the three for Edwards. No good. Holmgren now finds it over to Williams. Here's Hayward. Hayward now finds it again to Giddy. Here's Holmgren shot. Inside, it's good. Giddy with another take. Timeout call by Minnesota with 2.46 to go. That play will just got to deliver. Great pass for Josh Skinny. That's what he knows for. Keep that in there. Better target than that. Well, you know what you can expect here because of home run? That has to be what the layout drive has to go with. I was really expecting that it might be a close game in between. Hope that matchup is going to keep on coming in to make that playoff drop work. And if you're joining us here for the in an MA Sandy BFDI, I have a new video that will be popping in here, so this will be for you all, viewers. And thanks to DJ the Great, I will be able to do make it a video here for the BFDI and MA Sandy tour that we have in here in New York City. Because at that point, my next step trip will be able to take a look at what's going on and some of our uh, real stories that will be happening here. As if you already got your tickets down, you'll be able to see what I will be posting it for. It doesn't mean I won't be posting any scenes that will happen. I won't, I will not record it because I'm doing this one, not restricted to anyone. I will just try to make sure that everything is okay and simple. It will be outside of the building and inside the building and crap, Q&A questions, everything, we have a high hand chance. And this will be everything. I'll try to figure it out if I can get that one in there as soon as I can. So that will be all the videos here happening on June 29th, and I'll be able to post that one later here for next month in July. You don't want to miss that one out because that will be a BFDI and MSA tour coming in to get ready for a day to be out there in the line. Well, just a slam down that says, Jaden McDaniels, are you kidding me? That is just what you have. The moment I was not really there, I said, that is like taking over. The silence that crowd in Dog City. No one has to hear you now. Okay, C calls timeout with 2.33 to go. And like I just said here before, so tickets are already out because now it's already sold and ready for all of you guys for the population of New York and Los Angeles. That'll be happening here at every location. Starting off here from the east coast to the west coast, from after the central, that'll be happening here in Houston, in south, and then Seattle up in the north and the Midwest. Then right in between in the west coast will be Los Angeles, back to central will be Chicago, Illinois, and the southeast to wrap things up in the east coast is Fort Lauderdale. So I hope everybody's having a having a wonderful and anime and BFDI day. And if you want to see a live stream of how they did for barbecue stuff, I mean, you can check out that video too. I was always seeing it. I never just really uh, paid attention to, but hey, 
Lifetime goes. Let's hope that this happens to be the best one in town. Hopefully, I'm off to the Los Angeles number eight. Well, I'll see you all down there. I'll be able to see you guys right in between. Of the shows? Exactly what you're looking for. Oh yeah, be on the lookout. Here I come. As we keep getting things in, here's to never take over to Wallace. Wallace bounce passes to Holmgren. Holmgren, over Gobert. Layup in. Nice take. Holmgren's got 10 points in this game. And we're nearing down at 10, 2 minute mark. And a bounce pass to Cat. And the shot is fouled. Williams is his first personal. Thunders are being upset right now. There's 2 12 to go. Well, you're not going to just succeed in there because they've got any towns. He just got whacked across and he went down on the floor. That's because of Williams. He was really not playing it on a defensive break. That happened to be a, a bad defensive effort. And these men already have been taking it down. He's not going to let that happen. Free throw makes it in for Carl Anthony Towns. Just don't play it in there. Carl Anthony Towns has already been trained with it. And he has the point to say, Funders, not my only opportunity, but I have known for him since they became in to have that timing. I know Mike Conley and Rudy Gobert are the team from the Jazz, but I want to do a well, better team. And he makes a second free throw. Just don't get uncomfortable out there if you know how you can play it like that. Wallace now finds again a home grade. Home grade now finds the pass. Two minutes in overtime. Two minutes. Williams trying to answer it in. The pass over now finding Giddy. Giddy with a step in bound for two. It's good. Giddy's got 10. Home grade. Sorry, that's not it. 16 points for Giddy. Just 10 for home grade. Edwards. A chance for a lead. Missing. Dunk here for Gobert. Oh man, we're going to be here alive again and again. I don't know what how did Gobert ever happen. I was really going to say, how can you play it like that? Never take over to Dort. Dort, the cut it down, that finds Wallace. Wallace now finding Jalen Williams. Finds Dort. Dort, a closing range. Time to get down. Deep three. Hits off the rim and it goes back again to Anthony Edwards. His chance now to have a lead. It's stolen by Giddy. Wallace, nearing the corner. A three, up in the race. Misses. Edwards trying to answer it back. Ian Pointer. Giddy trying to hold him, help him out. Bear, a chance in front. Carly for the lead. I'll never miss my Minnesota. We were in a minute left to go. Wallace has it over. Pass broken. And he just went missing. And the jump off call between Giddy and Edwards. Oh, fight pressure on now. Let me show you how you can make that noise in there. That center court have to be real. And keeping the play alive will be the Thunders. That's what happens now because they're fighting in there. After this takeaway, this is no chance. They had nowhere else to go, but they can't be playing in for every series game at that time. They have to be doing it constantly, getting it game done. Wallace, for a triple, misses and Wolves will take a timeout with 16 seconds. Oh man, they're trying to have a lead off, but they don't have anybody to get in there. Everybody's all in tire right now. They have to be relieving on. They have nowhere else to be going in between. They've got to keep playing it for good. Nobody wants to leave that open. Nobody wants to have that target in. They can't let that one lose their effort. starting group. This will be in between all the players who are checking off as Wallace is checked out. And now back on court is Gabriel Alexander. A chance for Anthony Edwards. Make the cut for two. It's good! Thunders! Last time out left to remain with eight seconds. And this will be it. 
a chance to tie it or take the lead. Well, it may be too close now. I mean, I don't know what they will do because the Rumble wants to sh shave everything down, but they don't want to leave a mess over it. Let's hope there is, and the chance is, keep playing it like it's for real. Hopefully no. The changeover now doesn't mean to anybody, but they have to be out there. A switching playoff in between the recession, time effort, and everything. This is it. The last one will do. OKC Funders have never scored it since Game 7 was a disappointment effort against the Utah Jacks. This was happened here before, but they need to find a way to get them back in. Will the OKC Funders strike in overtime, Meteor or Minnesota? Or will Minnesota Wolves clear it out and end this game here? All to extension, back on the board, 3-0. The time starts now. Let's find out who will win and dunk it or take it out. Decision starts now. And here we go. The Gordix Alexander, last changeover. A chance. Here's a door for the three. so much. And now wrap it up folks in Loud City of OKC. The Thunders made the applaudment in overtime and that was a terrific game that you ever see how they played. This is Son of Beast with Gangsta and Fan. Thanks for watching and we hope we see you again for the next game. Peace out. Until next time. Good night everybody. All right, thank you so much. What an outstanding overtime for Jalen Williams. He's been knocking down the threes, and it was an excellent game. Unbelievable. Now, this is what happens. This is a thunderous overtime since we've seen Joel Embiid popping in for a three-pointer and win over Milwaukee Bucks since the 2020 part of a year wasn't even close. But this happened. All the other teams are just putting in with a great responses, and this was excellent how that happened. I was really just shocking down already. <laughs> Man, OKC Funders, you've been trying to plod that out of here, got a great chance. If they don't score it in here, then that means that the Minnesota Wolves may have to tie that one game, and this might be when nobody has ever seen it coming in there. I was really disappointed on how that happened, but that is what you see. Like, you gotta play it in here. You gotta do the right thing. Otherwise, if you miss a shot, that's it. Thunder, Thunder loses. Timberwolves extend the lead. It's gonna be no takeover, but you don't wanna mess that one up. So, here's how they did with the total statistics 66 field goals for OKC. And it was 33 and 86 with 10 fast break points for Minnesota Wolves. 48 points in the paint was even close enough to get there. 13 second chance points for Minnesota Wolves. And it was 23 bench points for OKC with 31 assists. 16 offensive rebounds for Minnesota Timberwolves. And defensive rebounds was 28 for OKC Funders. 7 steals for Minnesota. 4 for blocks on the OKC Funders. 3 turnovers with 3 team fouls and 7 dunks. Got a little bit of an even unbreakable chain, but only 8 biggest lead for OKC Funders with 2020 time of possession. And now it's over to you, me phone, for three star players of the game. All right, thank you so much. I was really seeing what goes in. Let's have a look and see what we've got.
Third star starts things off. As we have a great Wednesday between, I'm going to start that over to give a great look. As I noticed before, Rudy Gobert has done three steals with two assists, 19 rebounds with 19 points, 9 out of 16 field goals. He only got five dunks and 24 before it's effort. Does it for all. I know he didn't get a block, but hopefully on that occasionally, he will have to see what he can do if he can try to make that one in there possible enough. Now for the second star player of the game, Anthony Edwards with 20 points with two rebounds. Five assists with 822 field goal percentage, four three pointers with 14 out of it, and 31 performance effort. He took that one in there. Great chance, great play, and his effort turned to be like anybody's game. It had to be for all and encountered. And for the last one, the number one star goes to one and only Jalen Williams, the buzz beater overtime with 20 points. Four rebounds, five assists, one block, nine out of 13 field goals with two three-pointers. He has been a, an excellent player of the game to win in overtime. A buzz beater made with 30 performance effort. He is unbreakable. While well, better change ever right now, Gregorius Alexander with a New Balance player of the game. But that's what happened. Great win, great night for OKC to pick up and can go home for a rest before game four. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks. We all say goodnight to OKC funders here in Oklahoma City and Loud City. We hope everybody's having a great night, and I hope you all made it to this part of the end of the game. If you finished watching this part of the game, I appreciate your support. And with all your appreciation, we could have done with everybody's accomplishment. And if you haven't watched this one all the way, you can watch it anytime now by replaying this one where you left off back in the beginning or in the current spot where you had by turning on a watch playlist here for this history moment. And it doesn't mean that anybody will be playing or watching that one, but if you are, you can watch that one right here on the 2K Sports postseason playlist down below. You, you don't have to worry about that at all. And with that moment, peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. This is me, Phone, and Terry Cruz, signing out. See you all later for the next two games for tomorrow night's game. Matchup everything. Until next time, thanks for watching. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.